It's the beginning of the end, guys. So early on in the season, it's the beginning of the end. Manchester United nil, Liverpool free at Old Trafford. And I'm sorry to say this, guys, but we've been here before. We've been here before. Um, third season syndrome. And usually that third season is marked often by a defeat to Liverpool at Old Trafford. Um, and when you're defeated in this manner, um, you, you, fans will, are going to lose patience very, very quickly. Um, very quickly. Um, I'll say this. I think for the first 20 minutes, I think we're okay. I did think the game was a bit too open. I'll be honest, way too open. Um, I'm not sure how. Um, but I didn't think we're bad. And I think defensively, certain the first 20 minutes with, you know, Martinez and they're looking good. I think we're okay. And I thought, to be honest, if we play like this against bottom to mid teams, we'll do all right. And then Casemiro happened. Casemiro, thank you for your time. Thank you for your service, United. But you just ain't it anymore. You're finished. You're done. I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to see Casemiro um, starting for Manchester United again. There was a reason why he didn't start for the final. And there were certain segments of our fan base who were le legit were like, we need to keep him. He's amazing. He's awesome. It's not his fault. It's the manager, blah, blah, blah. Those two mistakes today were unforgivable. They were unfor unforgivable. Manu was babysitting this guy. Manu was only 19. Those two mistakes for Casemiro were unforgivable. And unfortunately, because we didn't sign Ogarty earlier, because we let Amrabat go, this is what happens. So we're in a situation that I knew we were, go we were going to be in, whereby you let McTominay go. So what midfielder? We don't have any midfielders. You have Ericsson and, and Toby. And that's it. You know, and it amazes me that United have spent all of this money, all of this money. Yeah, I'm looking at the depth and I'm still like, where's it gone? I'm looking at the depth of Manchester in the midfield, in the attack, and I'm like, where's it gone? So that when Casemiro is dropping a stinker like that, the only person that we can bring or call on midfield-wise is Toby. So anyone thinking that Agate is going to come in and say things, he's not. What happens if Agate gets injured? Then what? And even then, technically, Agate is not that great. He's a destroyer, sure. He'll be a destroyer and maybe he'll allow Mayu to go forward. But that's about it. He's not going to help us hold on to the midfield. It's not going to be better. The second goal, I, I just, you, you've got to be better. I don't know why you're being bullied like that. Stay on your feet, for goodness sake, in front of, don't, I hate when midfielders fall, get bullied in front of the box. You're like, come on, get up, win it back, and and we can see. I don't think Anana could do anything about the goals. I don't think it's his fault. And then the third goal, you know, that just kills off the, the game, to be honest. 56, 58 minutes when we scored in early in the first half. That's game over, man. The, the head's dropped. You know, Bruno's not doing anything. Ghost. And the, what I would say, and the reason why I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm close to Ten Hag out now, I'm sorry, is for the life of me. Because the attack, because Liverpool only had three, four shots on, on target. Three went in. Right? The attack. It should be Xerxes, Garnacho, and Ahmad. I've got no idea why he persists with Marcus Rashford, who's been crap. Okay, Rashford has been bad. Okay, and he does it. He so he he in order to fit it, he played Garnacho out of position on the right to fit in Rashford, and then drop Ahmad. And ironically enough, when Ahmad came on, he did far more than any of our attackers did for most of the game. Rashford should be dropped. I'm sick of seeing Rashford being picked. And I was officially 10, ten ag out when he makes the sub and he takes Ganacho off and he brings Ahmad on. And everyone is like, is booing. And it's like, we don't understand that, that, that decision. So Ten Hag, you are going to die on your Rashford sword. That's what's going to happen, right? That's what's going to happen. You're going to get sacked on your persistent backing for Rashford and your inability as a coach to be able to adapt. Because I could even see 30 minutes in wasn't in. Bro, we're being overrun. We need to, we need to do something. Even if you throw an additional midfielder to try and just 
uh, the game. For the entire game, United were exposed. Completely exposed. And Ten Hag did nothing to sort it out. At all. It's lucky that it wasn't five. And fundamentally, I don't know how in a situation where we're still relying on children to score us goals. Whether that's Gam- Anacho, Gamad, uh, Ahmad, um, Xerxes, Hoyland. The most experienced player that we need in Rashford is the worst player. So I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. But yeah, uh, we'll probably do a live show stream later. But guys, it's for me, it's, 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 this is the beginning of the end. And, and the only thing I'll say is that maybe this is why Rude is, is basically in. Maybe this is why Rude is there. Because I don't see, because you look at the fixtures. Okay, Southampton away next. Fine. We should win. But Palace and Villa away, I think. I don't know. I don't know, bro. And, you know, is really a bad season enough going to be worth getting a good Europa League or Cup game? I don't know. But what I do know is you can't play like this. Um, you know, you, you, you have to, your in-game manager has to be better. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that we played badly. In the, I, I actually think, like I said, we played okay for the first 20 minutes. And I think defensively, I can't think you can hate our defence. But tactically, nah. And the fact that Arnie Slot has come in and you see the fact that these guys, these, the passing by Liverpool today was amazing. But our passing after 20 minutes was awful. I don't get the composure. What? Why is it that we have no composure on the ball to bake simple passes? One, two, pass. Da, 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 da. Liverpool were doing that all the time. With far less possession. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. But rant over Ten Hag. It's 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 over, buddy. I think it's over, buddy. I think it's over. It, it literally it's 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 over. Poor pass, and you can see, and you can see poor pass, and it's 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 one, two, three, four, five on three, and you know they're showing the goal again, man. They're showing the goal again. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Nonsense and Casemiro. Anyway, peace out. Bye, 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 bye.